Hi everyone, Andrew here. And today we need to talk about a very serious topic. Something near and dear to my heart. Socks! Yes, that's right. Today we're talking about Stance Socks. This sock company was co-founded by the CEO of Skull Candy, who, a company you may have heard of, they make earbuds and consumer audio products. And the reason we're talking about them is because these socks have defined a new high-end category in the sock market. I, I can't believe I just said sock market, but <laughs> bear with me. It's 15 bucks for one pair of socks instead of 20 pairs of boring white socks that you get at your friendly neighborhood Target. So why are they so expensive? Well, they're unique because they're very comfortable, they're very well built, they last a long time, but most of all, they have crazy designs. They're styles for everyone. Uh, maybe you're a patriot, maybe you're a Rastafarian, maybe you love punk rock, maybe you're, maybe you're a middle-aged man that still hangs on to a skateboard teenage punk rock years. Whatever the case, there's a pair that captures your personality. And even many of their socks are matching pairs that don't match. This is a pair of socks. So why am I talking about socks? Well, it illustrates that there's always room to innovate, even in seemingly boring industries. This is the first brand to make freaky socks a thing. Previously, you'd have companies making all white, all brown, black, blue, maybe some crazy argyle colors if you're a freaky golfer. Yet no one had gone this far. And now there's several companies since that have started copying them. So look at your product offering. Look at the services that you offer. How can you be an innovator in your market? What can you do differently? I mean, they have real personality. How can you bring personality into your business? It's so powerful when consumers can connect with your company and what you sell. Apple's another great example of, of doing this really well. I mean, Jay-Z is wrapping about socks on the radio. You have Rihanna wearing them half naked in a magazine. Consumers love companies and products that have personality, that are unique, that are fun, and easy to do business with. If you're a service provider, they're still hiring you and your people at the end of the day, not your logo. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean you have to get on video like I do and promote your brand every week, but in many, many cases, I recommend that you do. The personality of your team can come through the market in other ways as well, in how you communicate with your market, in your marketing message, in your imagery, in the text that you use to express your attitude and personality. And finally, what high-end offering can you sell to your market? So if you're offering lawn treatments, do you have just one plan? If you do, you might want to consider having multiple levels with different service at different price points. If you're offering lawn maintenance, you can still do the same thing. Maybe you should have a premium maintenance package that includes refreshing the mulch, seasonal installs of plants, something more than just cutting, something that your competitors aren't offering. So think about what premium price package you can offer your clients, what would they be interested in? If you apply the 80-20 rule to your service or product offering, you know there's always a percentage of your customer base that will purchase a premium priced offering. Determine what yours is and offer it to the market. Get to it.